The membrane of a cell is known as the fluid mosaic model. So, what better way to demonstrate this than by using fluid, like water? Fluid mosaic model flows, and it's constantly moving. But it also has a f something known as selective permeability. Certain things are able to diffuse across the membrane, while others are not. For example, these pool rings. Throw them into the pool, and they sink. They pass through the membrane. And you can see them sink all the way to the bottom. And you can also see which each of the falling rings that there is a wave of water that flows out from around it, demonstrating the fluidity of the water or the cell membrane. Another thing to note is that these rings are very small. Small objects are able to more easily pass through a cell membrane. However, something like one of your favorite toys when you're little, a noodle, so that you don't, you know, drown, this is much larger and it will not pass through the fluid membrane. It will sit on top instead. Sometimes these things are able to pass through a cell membrane through assistance from something like a transport protein or a protein pump, which will be talked about later by Michelle. But other times they simply do not pass through at all, maybe because the cell doesn't want them. They're harmful or unnecessary. And what I have for you is a model of a cell membrane. Right here would be a phospholipid bilayer with a hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tails making it antipathic. In between them I have bits of cholesterol which basically act as a cell buffer. This purple thing and this green thing both represent integral proteins. The purple one would function mainly for um, passive transport and this one would function for active transport. Which means that they let things pass through um, that are too big to pass through through diffusion. For active transport, it requires energy and works independently of the concentration gradient. Up the top, there are peripheral proteins. The ones with the carbohydrate chain markers um, make them glycoproteins, glycoproteins, and they function ma mainly for cell recognition. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>